So about the HomePod. Everybody knows that it's too expensive for the price. It only works with Apple Music and Siri doesn't do enough, right? Well, I'm here to show you how to extend your HomePod. I'll show you how to use it with Siri shortcuts, how to use it with the custom shortcuts from the Shortcuts app, how to airplay to it automatically, and also one little trick for using Spotify with shortcuts. Well, right off the bat, full voice control for everything is still limited to Apple Music. There's no new capabilities for developers to send data to HomePod. Right now, the main support does come from Siri shortcuts. If you're not familiar, Siri shortcuts as a term refers to the specific ability of third-party apps to send their quick actions to Siri and have them run in the background. This is separate from the custom shortcuts in the Shortcuts app, which you can build as scripts and put them together and then run them and use them from the HomePod. But thankfully, anything with audio works great with HomePod. When you're trying to use a Siri shortcut that plays back media and you run it from the HomePod, what happens is the HomePod will automatically connect to your phone via AirPlay. You don't have to do anything there at all. Now this feature immediately knocks out one of the main complaints that people had with the HomePod. Even though you could AirPlay to the device, you still had to go through your phone and do it manually. Now, when you use your voice, it just connects directly. Right now, apps like Pandora are updated so that you can just start playing back a station right away using your voice. By far, my most used Siri shortcuts are those for Overcast, my preferred podcast player. With it, I can just start up one of my own podcasts or my weekly playlists, or I can even control the playback speed and switch it around if I want to. Apps like Castro and Pocket Cast have also added support, so depending on which podcast player you prefer, you can have that work with HomePod directly. The biggest notable omission here still is Spotify themselves. I have no idea why they haven't implemented Siri shortcuts yet, and honestly, I think most people are waiting for that. Other notable omissions are apps like TuneIn Radio, which is super popular, plus Audible. You'd think it would make tons of sense to be able to listen to your audiobooks on the HomePod, but that's not possible just yet. And even, to be fair, iBooks doesn't have that support. I want to listen to my audiobooks on the HomePod, and I just can't right now without actually airplaying first. So right away you might notice that this is only a handful of apps. It's mostly just audio and it's also in a limited form, but that's where the Shortcuts app comes in. Using the show result or dictate text actions in the Shortcuts app, you can have any of your shortcuts speak out custom text when run from Siri. Any text that you've passed into the dictate text action or used in line in the show result action will be spoken aloud by Siri in her own natural voice. This applies inside the app and even on AirPods and Apple Watch, but is super useful with HomePod because that's the only interface that you can use. What's awesome about this is you can have her read text from anywhere. I like to have Siri pull in web pages and then read the body to me, acting like my own little personal newsreader that I can set up however I want. In a previous video, I've shown examples of how to build your own daily agenda, and that's flawless from HomePod 2. Plus with the new weather actions, you can really get a whole sense of your day without even ever touching your phone. Part of what's important to note about these HomePod shortcuts is that they can't actually require any user interaction. Anything like ask for input, where you ask people questions as they run the shortcut, or choosing from list won't work in the Shortcuts app right now when it's run from HomePod. There are affordances for Siri to do this in regular contexts, so I'm hoping that this is just a temporary thing because it would really make a lot of sense to be able to run a shortcut and then have something spoken out loud be used in the course of that shortcut. That's where the real magic comes in, but for now, we'll just play around with this. It's worth noting how you get these shortcuts to run too. Using something like your clipboard to be able to grab text from something that you copied and then use that into the input of the shortcut is still possible. Plus, like I mentioned, anything that happens in the background like finding your calendar events or your reminders will just work too. I'll be linking all of the examples that I'm showing in this video in the description below so you can make sure to grab these shortcuts and run them from your HomePod yourself. So in doing all of this, I realized that you could get sort of a hack in order to get Spotify to work. You can basically set up a custom shortcut that runs some sort of audio and then immediately pause it and then open the Spotify app on your phone. My little shortcut is called AirPlay and when I say, hey supercomputer, AirPlay, she'll then start playing some music and then immediately pause it and then tell me to continue on my phone where the Spotify app opens automatically. Then I can just choose what I want to play and it's already AirPlayed to my device so I can have my playback pretty seamlessly. So one of the common responses to this is probably that that's not exactly a perfect hack and I think that's very true with shortcuts right now. There's a lot of times where it can't actually completely solve your own problems but what's nice is it can get you 90% of the way there and that's usually good enough. You can at least get yourself closer to your end goal and then do whatever is not possible on your own. Pushing this further and further 
further is going to take a little bit with the Shortcuts app, but you can also see the HomePod expand along with it. Once it's enabled in voice, every single new capability that you add to the Shortcuts app then becomes something that you can do on the HomePod. Hopefully these tips show you what's possible with HomePod and help you get a little bit more value out of it if you're choosing to spend the money on it. But it also definitely clarifies for me that this thing is gonna get better over time. I bought the HomePod immediately because I knew that I'd just be able to enjoy music until it got better. Plus, in the meantime, I'll already be experimenting with these shortcuts and getting ahead for when that day comes. Until then, I'll be coming up with more fun shortcuts and dancing around my house to music. See you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.